Welcome back to my channel yet again. So I decided to do one more Valentine's Day thing, but it can be all year round. You can do it for so many things. So we are going to make a treat plate. So this could also be a cake plate and I'll show you how. This one happens to have a little lid I made and you can fit some, some chocolates under there, some for your sweetie. See, I decoupage that plate with some napkins and some uh, Mod Podge. And the bottom is painted. It's actually painted underneath. So this is something that you wouldn't put in the dishwasher. Okay, you're gonna hand wash this only on the top and dust the bottom. I didn't seal it. You can seal it and you know make it more sturdy, but um, it's not gonna see that much use. You really just surface wash it. Okay, and then I made this lid. And this is just a cereal bowl. And I found a random piece of glass at the Dollar Tree. They happen to have around. It looks a little bit like a circus top, I know, or an acorn top. So you can imagine you could do different things with this. And this little top here is actually a wooden ball. And this came in a big package of wooden balls. And um, I just used a Dremel to open this hole up wider. So I could shove it over this top here. It didn't really take that long. And then I just glued and glittered the top. Actually, I glued and glittered it before I glued it onto the glass. And the piece itself, I actually, before I adhered it to the bowl, I painted the inside with the gold metallic paint. And I used this dazzling metallic paint from Deco Art, and it's an acrylic. Again, I'm not putting it in the dishwasher. I'm gonna hand wash. Obviously this is sealed because it's, you know, you can't get to that, um, but you're gonna wanna hand wash this. Okay, I also used to adhere all of my pieces, this E6000 glue. You can get this at Walmart, you can get this at um, Michael's, you can get this almost anywhere. Okay, uh, you will look at, there's different tips. You can get this with a wide mouth tip, probably glued it shut a little bit. So this is a wider tip. And you can get this with more of a pen tip if you want more precision um, for smaller pieces and maybe not getting it too messy. Okay. You're also going to need this piece here, whether you're making a cake plate or you're making a tiered candy dish. So for a cake plate, what I would have done was instead of putting this glass candle piece here, this is a taper holder on top of this piece and putting the decoupage plate underneath, I would have simply glued the larger plate to it and made just a cake plate for this. And people have asked about putting a dome over this for, um, you know, covering the cake. I have yet to find anything when you're talking about making something that is cost effective that's going to work for that. Cheaper glass is going to be heavier. You can get lighter glass absolutely and make a top for this but frankly then you're getting to the kind of money where you might as well just buy the piece already made um, so this is something where you're just really displaying a cake before you're using it and you can put it in your storage uh, your Tupperware cake storage you know if you have that or even something you get from the dollar store or you know from your Walmart that's for cake storage that's more of a Rubbermaid type of thing okay so there's a lot of different ways that you can use to decorate these to make them pretty. And on this one, I already showed you, I decoupaged a napkin with florals and an off-white background. And for this one, it had only this first flower and this flower here. And I cut out extra flowers and stems that I just, when I put all the glue on the plate, I pressed these into place and then finished off with a covering of the background napkin okay so that was pretty easy and then the bottom I just simply followed the plate itself so this plate has this really cool it's a cheaper pressed plate pressed glass and it has this design that just automatically looks like a flower so I just I just accentuated those lines with paint and it's just again an acrylic paint this is not something that's super lasting you can seal it with a sealer if you'd like. I didn't do that. And then I used the metallic paint here. This definitely took two coats. I think the gold actually took a third coat to get really a good bond. From the underneath, you can see more of the streakiness, but once you turn it over, as long as there's no light, if you see light through it, you can see the streakiness. But when it's on a table, as you can see, you cannot see the streaks, the streaks at all. 
So if you can use the design that's pressed into the glass, you can make something really pretty without working that hard or worrying about what kind of artistic ability you might have or not have when you're just trying something out. So for instance, this is a glass piece from the Dollar Tree. This is a heart and it's really cute, but pressed into the bottom is this daisy design. And I don't know if you can see this. I try and put my hand against it. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a pressed daisy design here. So you could easily just paint these wide petals with a yellow or a pink, right? And then do a yellow, orange, or green in here, and maybe even a white here. And you'd have a really pretty design. And then again, you could take this and pop it on a, a pedestal if you wanted to and just use it to put your sweethearts in, you know, your little sweetheart candies, chocolates, whatever. It'd be really cute on your mantle or on your table, whatever the case may be. So there's a lot of different options. You can bling this out with um, like a bedazzled wrap. They have these wraps, bling wraps that are like um, little rhinestones that are on uh, ribbon. And they're self glue tacky and they have them at the Dollar Tree, they have them at Michael's. They, they're more articulated. The ones at Michael's, you can get them, they're a lot more flexible and there's, you know, maybe a little bit higher quality to the rhinestones at the ones in Michael's. But Dollar Tree ones are really nice too and they actually cover quite a wider amount of space. So you can use those. You can just do your Mod Podge and then cover with glue. Um, your Mod Podge is glue. Welcome to my channel. I like the light. Okay, cover it with glitter. Okay, and I did actually another plate like this and I just covered it with Mod Podge and then I, actually I painted it. Yeah, I'm sorry. I painted it with pink paint and then covered it with a combination of pink glitter. And, um, I gave that one as a gift and didn't include the, the larger plate on the bottom because it was needed for a smaller space. So it was only the smaller treat plate that I made and it was made just with paint and glitter and didn't include the decoupage. Okay, so I've spoken a lot, but there's a lot that you can do to make these depending on what you like. So you can bling them up with glitter. You can bling them up with little edges of the rhinestone stick-ons. You can put pearls, strung pearls around the edges. You can paint them, you can leave them plain. So what we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna show you the beginning of this. I'm gonna decoupage um, a plate to be this top tier. I'm gonna make a second one. It's gonna be a gift for someone. So you're just gonna buy a package of napkins. These napkins here are from the dollar store. Now I bought these for someone who loves peacocks. I won't mention who. And these are actually a two-ply napkin. So when you unfold them, you'll actually find that they have two layers. And I just pulled that second layer off. It's a plain layer, and it doesn't have any printing on it. So I just pulled that. It's just going to get in the way. It's going to gum up the work. So if it has two-ply, it has two layers, you just pull that layer carefully off, okay? And you're going to turn this upside down. And look, you've got 16 napkins here. You're getting at least 16 plates out of this and as if you do luncheon size. And then if you do larger size, it might be a little bit less. You might have to, you know, put them together a little bit. Okay, so you're going to need some Mod Podge. You're going to need your napkin. And you're going to need your glass plate. That's the start. And then to finish it off after this dries, and it's going to have to cure overnight for all of the milkiness to disappear, you're going to need this... A glass candlestick and that's going to be your pedestal and you're going to glue those together when it's all dry with E6000. That's going to make your little pedestal for your treats and candies, whatever you like. You can make a lid for it. You do not have to have this glass piece here. I just happened to find that. Again, I know it's kind of circus top looking once you have that vision in your mind. You can't let go of it, but I, I thought it was cute and I liked it. But anyway, you can glue the knob right to the bowl. Okay, so we're gonna put that away. This is just as simple as can be. You take your plate and you look at it before you even start gluing and say, well, how do I want it? And I obviously am gonna want the head of the peacock to be in the middle of the plate, not in the middle, but shown in the middle of the plate, okay? And I'm gonna wanna have this little plume at the top and I'm gonna wanna make sure that some of the peacock feathers, which are really the part of the peacock that everybody's in love with, actually show on the plate. Okay, so I'm going to get this one about there, and the rest is just going to be, you know, background noise. Okay, so 
you take your Mod Podge and you're gonna take a nice wide angle brush and this is just busy work, right? You're just gonna brush it on. There's no magic to this. And I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna put this napkin on here. It's gonna lay over it. There's gonna be excess and we'll let it dry. And then I'll just snip the edges off. And then I might come back with a little layer of Mod Podge to actually seal the edges once I cut the edges of the napkin off. I hope my head's not getting cut off here or that you're seeing what's going on here on the plate. So this is super easy. We're just painting it on. There's just no, you know, no big deal here. Uh, you don't want it to be so thin that it dries before you get your napkin on. You don't want to be so thick that um, it doesn't dry for a week, right? We want this to dry overnight. It does not have to be four pounds of Mod Podge. And this stuff is, you know, economical enough, I mean, but why waste, right? Also, I like to set this up once it's done, actually onto another glass piece that's not touching the glue so that it can dry without actually getting stuck to the table or whatever. Now, the reason that I looked at kind of where I was putting this before is this is now opaque. You're not going to really be able to see very well where you're putting it, right? So I'm going to take this and I'm going to set it down about where I want it. And I'm not going to worry if it's perfect, but I'm going to try and get it so I know it's about where. And you can see it. You can see it. It's not perfect, but you can see it. And then I'm going to reach under. And this is going to fold a little bit on you, okay? You're going to get a little bit of creases. Don't worry. They'll glue on, and it'll just have, it'll just make cool kind of texture. It won't look bad, okay? So I'm just making sure that each piece of the napkin is making good contact, okay? Making good contact. Once I get it on nice, like to give it a good go around, fold it down. Okay, now, you're not done. Not quite. We're gonna go over one more time with the glue, okay? And this is gonna seal it. It's gonna make sure it's well bonded, okay? We want that, we want this to last. This is just a one ply of a napkin. It's not super thick, again, you see that there's folds, it's okay. It's gonna look just fine when it dries. You're gonna see, oh my gosh, there's a fold. You won't see it. Okay, so we're going all the way around. Decoupage is not a mystery. It's just really just glue and paper. Glue and paper, that's all it is on whatever you're doing. I like Mod Podge because it's reliable. You can try different, like, oh, let's use this, glue, glue, mix it with water, do this, blah, blah, blah. This is always going to work. You can get Mod Podge on sale, okay? So you can go and you can you can get Mod Podge in smaller amounts at the Dollar Tree. They have it there. Sometimes I found it and I was like, look what I found. Um, they are in little small bottles, though. Um, but when you go to Michael's or you go to Joann's, you take your coupon, right? And I love when I get my 50% off, every once in a while, 60% off coupons at Michael's. Well, Mod Podge is not excluded from those, my friends. A lot of things are like, you're, like you ain't going to get a Cricut machine with your 50% of coupon. <laughs> it's not going to happen, right? Um, but you can get things like Mod Podge, which is a crafter's best friend. And you can get your cutting mat, right? You can get a cutting mat from those. And those could be, you know, over $100 if you want a good size one. If you want a self-healing one, for sure. So... You know, by all means, you see people using them like, I want one of those cutting mats so I can cut things with a rotary cutter and make it fast. Well, use your coupon. Okay, so here we go. I have it all set in and gone over with the Mod Podge. And I'm going to actually set it on top of this. And I am going to let this dry overnight. I'm going to make sure this is all making good contact, that I didn't upset it while I was setting it down. Okay. And I'm going to let this dry overnight. And then tomorrow, we're going to come back. Now, when you do this, you're going to be coming back and be like, it's still milky. Why is it still milky? Let it dry all the way. The milkiness will go away. You will not see the glue at all. All right? So I will see you 
well, in a second for you, but tomorrow morning for me, and we will finish this beautiful plate, but don't tell my niece, because it's a present. Shh. All right, I'm gonna have some of this Chateau Saint Michel wine. Is this a Merlot? I believe it's a Merlot. It's a Merlot, I love a Merlot. Okay, so I'm gonna have a Merlot and some of these lovely chocolates, which would go nicely in here, but I don't have them in there because I had to show y'all, I had to tilt it and stuff. But anyway, I'm gonna enjoy my Valentine's chocolates and my Valentine's wine, and tomorrow I'll be back to show you how to finish this off. But it'll still be today for you. All right guys, see you tomorrow. Hello, I'm back. So this had plenty of time to dry and I think it's really lovely. See, it has the peacock design on there. Um, there's gonna be some natural imperfections. You could try and put this out super flat, but it's not a flat surface like a trivet. It is a plate um, and it is round. But anyways, I think it looks great. So I've gone around on the sides and wherever I see that it's come over a little too much on the plate, because I just leave it overlapping. I didn't cut it to perfect size. That way I made sure that I didn't cut it too small. Um, you know, after it goes up the bend of the plate. So I just take the scissors and carefully trim off any overhang. And if you're like me, you probably should be doing this with glasses, but whatever. Anyway, um, so I think that's pretty good. Okay. So now we are going to take the candlestick. Let's just put this plate, it's easier to put it upside down and do this on here. Let it sit, okay. So this is so simple now. I'm gonna use the E6000 glue again and go around the curve. If you wanted to, you can actually Mod Podge inside this candle piece here and you can sprinkle glitter in there. So there's a little accent. You're not going to see it really well at the bottom of the, or underneath the plate because it's not down low. But you could if you wanted to. Okay, so try and get it centered as much as possible. I usually do a terrible job of centering things. Place it on. That looks pretty good. Let me get up above. That looks pretty decent to me. I think I did a pretty good job of getting it centered. Okay, so now I'm just going to leave that sit overnight. Um, 24 hours is best to let it set up and, and glue. And as you can see, these wouldn't it be funny to be one of those things like on television um, where you go, look, it's really good, and then it breaks. But you, <laughs> this glue really does hold pretty securely, as you can see. Um, no problems whatsoever. Nice and sturdy. Look, I shook it, it's sturdy. Okay, I touched the chocolates, I'll eat those. Anyway, so you can make these more elaborate. Like I said, you can you can paint them like I showed you yet last night. Um, this one's for someone who maybe isn't gonna want that much bling on it and she's got a small space. So I'm not gonna put it on um, a big, I'm not gonna put a big plate underneath it. I'm gonna leave it a little bit smaller. And um, this is it. So I hope that you like it. Um, it's basically going to look when it's dry. And I'll put a picture at the end tomorrow before I upload it. But um, it's going to look just like this piece without the bottom, okay? And um, I haven't decided if I'm even going to make a dome for it. But if I do, I won't be putting this portion on the top on there. I'll just be using the glass bowl and a little, a little knob. Take off me knob. Okay, so that's it. That's all for this time, super easy. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you go and get some glass pieces and give it a try, it makes really cute gifts. You can use these things for all different kinds of stuff. I mean, think outside the box in terms of, you know, cake plates or um, treat plates and things because you can use these to hold cotton balls in a guest bathroom, put heights in different elevations, even to make, you know, a little vanity look nicer and put, um, you know, your little cot pads for doing your makeup or your wedges in there. So lots of ideas, things you can do that are not just for eating products. Remember, do not submerge these. I would, even if you seal them really well, I wouldn't submerge them or put them in the dishwasher. I would still hand wash um, 
and I wouldn't even wash the bottom. I would just dust the bottom and have wash the top carefully. All right, guys, have a good night. I am going to, I'm going to skip my wine tonight. Can you believe it? I am. But um, I'm going to have a nice dinner now with my honey. So happy Valentine's Day. I will be going off to vacation soon. Don't tell anybody your birth that you're going to be gone. It's okay. I have a house sitter. I'm going to be here the whole time. I'm going to Thailand. Ah! All right, guys. Uh, have a good one, and I will catch you back here soon.